Well, we're back again. Back again. And I can't believe it's January 2020. New decade. 2020. And how long have we been doing these videos? Not quite a year. We started in what, April? Something oh, okay. Like okay. I know we kind of started in the spring. So yeah. we've had so much fun going through different wines. Oh, yeah. Um, but what is going on in January, I feel as far as my customers, um, is healthy, healthy options. Yeah, options. What about you guys? Healthy, well, you know, I think you everybody- the same thing? Yeah, and you, you feel like, okay, I just had how many cakes and cookies from my friends and family? Parties. Parties, yeah. you know, after party, and you do a lot of drinking. So mm. you feel like, okay, I still wanna enjoy my wine, but I wanna go a little low cow. Yeah, agreed. It's the same thing with classes. We offer a clean eating Mediterranean. I should probably cuisine. go to that. <laughs> well, they're sold out, both of them. <laughs> so sorry, we could put another one on. But everybody, it's you're right. We've gorged ourselves for two months plus, and now it's time to the, the turning of the calendar to get healthier, eat a little better, drink a little less, go to um, go to our yoga class, go to our yoga kickboxing, class. right? Yoga. <laughs> yeah, I need to burn calories. <laughs> Well, you know, her class is burning oh, calories. Yeah, yeah. That's right. If we go to Jana's, mm -hmm. she is tough. So. so this month, it's all about... Oh, well, so it's for the first time, I'm actually having conversations with my vendors um, for healthy options. So wine. Healthy wine has been kind of a topic that has come up more often than not. Everybody remembers Skinny Girl. I think that was the only option that was out there. For a while, there. yeah. And it was, it's still out there and they make different mixes. Vodka and margarita vodka and margaritas. Mix. But there's another, there's another wine that's out there. There's um, a couple more. Fitvine, Sense is another one that's starting to pop out. <clears throat> so I've been having conversations with vendors just to find out mm -hmm. what makes them locale. Why are they healthy op healthier options? And, and I've been doing a lot of research on their sites. And one of the things that they keep pointing out is that it's basically alcohol, alcohol and sugar is what yeah. is what is the issue. That's what's but unfortunately, what wine is. It, it gives wine texture and and body and flavor. So yes. it, it could be a two edged sword. Yeah. So I'm really excited that we're going to try the fit vine um, later on because yeah. I have not had this yet. Um, I've had a couple of customers that have requested it to bring it in, but uh, I thought it was really interesting. So I'm like, yeah, alcohol and sugar. Oh, yeah, this is my the two main, favorite right. things. That's the main ingredient in a wine, <laughs> unless it's a non-alcoholic yep. wine. And and there are some non-alcoholic. I know there are some non-alcoholic wines though. There are that are really good. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are somebody who is pregnant or you're trying not to drink or what, you know. So there are sure. non-alcoholic options. There okay. are, but I've never had one, and you guys haven't had one either. The I yes. have, because Ariel is um, made from J. Lore, and Ariel has a. Um, oh, is that non-alcoholic? It's non-alcoholic okay. and it's Cabin Shark. And it's, oh. it's one of the most popular, it was like for a while there was something on Pinterest and so it like really exploded, mm. but it is, it's a really good wine, yeah. but it's not on a couple. Okay. So. so what are we trying right here? Well, this is uh, one of mine. This is called Rosé Water mm -hmm. and it was presented to us really late last summer and so we really didn't get a chance to do much with it, but it was by customer demand. The consumers are out there seeing information about it on social media and they're wanting to try it literally this was made like last summer they were putting it out there so fast that the demand was out before the product actually came out and it's in this alternative packaging that it we is. discussed episodes Lovely ago um, so it's perfect for yes yeah. so i didn't have time for our alternative package conversation with this one because it came out so late last summer but it's only 69 calories mm. now it is the only kind whenever you see a wine that says um like or a uh, seltzer water like a um what are the white claws and things that say Truly, rose? Yeah, they're rose flavor. They're yeah. not. There's no rose in the wine. This yeah, is the be only one that is. A, yeah, they're all malt based, which is mm -hmm. you know like a beer. This is the only one that is actually just tonic water and rose wine. They're getting it imported in to um, a company here in. I'm, I'm gonna, I think it's North Carolina. Hmm. The um, the family the couple that runs this you know, winery, they said that's what they wanted. They wanted something that was a low-cal option, but was a real rosé, so that you're not getting a bunch of impurities. So it's tonic water and rosé. So this yeah. is the equivalent of one glass of wine. A, good, a healthy pour. This is a little over six ounces. Yes. And 69, 69 calories. calories per can. How does that compare? Because I know, Carolyn, you did yeah, some research. I did do some on research. On an average glass so of rosé. So your rose. average glass of, well, I, I know an average glass of white is like 100 to 120. Yeah. Okay. So you're saving anywhere between. Calories. And this is 69. 
Yeah. 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 Well, that's significant. That's a significant difference. That's a big pour. I mean, yeah. you and I were pouring it going, this yeah, is a pretty I big know. pour for our big glasses. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I mean, and it, frankly, I, I really do enjoy this. I do. Um, I find that it is very muted rosé. It is, yes. um, is for people who really think rosés are too dry. I would say this would be a really good option for them. But if you are a rosé drinker, but you're either looking to lower the calories or I really think this is a great summer option. I was yeah. gonna say it feels more summery. It's it's beautiful. It's yeah. a gorgeous mm-hmm. wine. It feels more summery to me it than does. you know, January, right. snowy, January. But, this, but but it's also the aromas coming off there is really like you can yeah. smell the rose in yeah. there. So they're using tonic in this. I believe so. That's and cool. Don't quote me, um, because well, it's been a while since I've had the the presentation from them but it's i don't know if i know it's water and it may just be that they're adding a little bit of bubbles oh okay okay because i did read that because i i one of my other things i looked up is what makes wine you know what does make them low calorie Mm -hmm. and it's either adding water to it so you know you have less alcohol per Mm -hmm. pour or it's this other thing called reverse osmosis it sounds like a scientific project where they actually use a centrifuge and oh. remove alcohol that way and then re-blend it all back together again. Mm. So it's oh. a lower in alcohol. So okay. Fitvine, I think, does the, or Sense uses the scientific osmosis thing. <laughs> and Fitvine, I think, is a little bit more, I think they, they said they do a little more water in it. I can't remember okay. which one they had. But that's really the only two ways that you make a lower calorie wine. Oh. So this is fun. It's Science it's, project it or almost, water. This actually could be really fun. We just passed it, but New Year's Eve sort of option mm-hmm. if you wanted to go a little lower it would, it would be nice because it has that effervescence it from does the the sparkling water the tonic whatever but i mean i there. think you can celebrate new year's eve anytime <laughs> anytime <laughs> well and those cards actually say zero is that right mm-hmm. yeah that's crazy i mean you'd have to hold it back there for me to see i know yeah, i'm, I'm pretty like, sure it says zero that there. is really low okay yeah. Well, that so it definitely is, goes a, into the low-cal, healthier lifestyle. It is. Yeah. It, and, I mean, I'm going to just point out, because the way I lose weight, and obviously I do it just so fast. It's just so rapid. Mm-hmm. You can barely tell. I know. Um, I'm not going to give up my wine. So I am exercising. I do take my kickboxing class to try to lose weight that way. I try to eat healthier. I'm trying the whole we keto need, we thing. We need to go to her classes. Yes. But I'm never going to give up my wine. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's to me, it's not even the, the healthy versus non-healthy option. I'm just not going to give up my wine. Right. Well, you just drink less of it. You work out harder. You eat better. You got to yeah. balance it. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. right. So this is kind of like an alternative. But you have. Yeah. You've brought something else that's a little more traditional wine. Right? Yes. So we will be tasting Fit Vine Cap. All right, guys. So I just poured everybody Fit Vine Cap. So I have to say, this is the first time I'm trying it. I'm first very time. curious. Um, Cab, did you say? This is a cab. This is a cab. This is their cab. It's got a good nose. Mm -hmm. This is much lighter in color than a Mm -hmm. traditional cab, isn't it? And it's a little lighter in in flavor. In weight. Mm -hmm. In weight. Yeah. But remember, it's either suck the sugar or alcohol that they've got to remove to make right. it a little bit mm-hmm. healthier. So but what is the alcohol content? Yeah, what's the scoop on this? Oh, well, let's see here. I know. Let me hold this really far I'm back so say, I can see it. I'll get it from here. Okay, yeah. no, I can't. So. Where is it? It's always it like... It doesn't even tell you. Wait. No. 14. Okay. 14. All right, so, so, so sugar. They, they went on the sugar, not on the alcohol, mm-hmm. which you need the sugar to make the alcohol too. So you have to have, I mean, the grapes are like any other fruit, they have sugar in them, right? Mm-hmm. Which is also what we were going to talk about if you are drinking like a Moscato or a higher sugar contented yeah, wine. Yeah, unfortunately. Right? You're, you're going to, it doesn't matter, you're going to have that sugar in there. Yep. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. But if you, if you step back to a Pinot Grigio or a Chardonnay or a Cab, um, there of course is less sugar you right. know, yeah. in those wines. And so therefore it's a, you know, a little bit of that, more of that healthier lifestyle. Well, and the reds do, you know, I don't, I don't know how true it is. There's a lot of studies on both sides. Whites are actually lower in calorie than red a little bit, is what is I it? keep reading. It's because of the, the uh, reds have higher alcohol. But red's supposed to be better for your heart, right? It's always a trade. You know what? I, yeah, yeah, I actually have doctors yeah. that send people in yeah. for certain for red, red wines. wines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Who's this doctor? I know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> We've had that happen a couple we need of to times. Him on TV. Yeah. yeah. So doctor. But I think overall, it's got some good fruit. I mean, it does taste a little bit. It's a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, lighter in weight. But honestly, if you told me it was more of a Pinot Noir, 
I know. I would have. It is. I, I would have believed like that. Noir, you're right. And you know, he, I would have believed Pinot Noir, not necessarily even a health, a light. I don't want to say healthier version. I don't think healthy is the right descriptor, but lower. Lower carb, lower calorie? What do we have? What are the numbers on this one? Well, if you do a cap to cap, they're actually very similar. If you're doing a traditional dryer style cap. Okay. So it's like 0 0.05 versus 0 0.06 in the in the uh, grams of sugar. Okay. And so we're just talking really, average for, you know, cab versus cab. Yeah. So you um, really, if you're drinking a And cab, the carbs are you kind of close too, but there's a significant difference if you're going from slightly sweeter wines, like a... Um, uh, uh, Moscatos, you know, Malvasias, things like that that just mm -hmm. have a little bit more sweetness to Rieslings. Yeah. They're going to have a little bit more sugar to yeah, them. Sure. So there is a significant yeah. difference in that. But as far as a, a cab to a regular cab, it's it's close. But again, white wines are a little less calories. So am I hearing you say it's really fairly it's, negligible and the difference is in marketing and it's, labeling? It, it's close. It's close. I mean, what's this called? Fit Vine? It's called Fit Hello. Vine. I mean, you know who they're talking yeah. to when they, when they yes. label it that with yeah. somebody running hey, on the front you know, of a bottle. They're ingenious because I, mean, I, I have more say, and more customers come in saying, do you have this Fit Vine? And yeah. there's another one out there that no one's even talking about yet that I'm doing research on called Sense. So, and it's even lower in calories. We'll have to see that. So what happened? Then you've got this rose water, the 69 calories that no one's even seen yet. So, yeah. so there's options out there, but it is ingenious marketing. Well, right. Yeah. It's, I mean, look, Skinny Girl made you know she did. a fortune right. with that whole label. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is their cab. What mm -hmm. other varietals do they have? So in they the carry a Pinot line? Grigio, a Chardonnay. Okay. Um, they also in the cab. They do not. I don't think they have a Pinot Noir yet, but give them time. Right. Um, I yeah. know there was a holiday red blend that was floating around. Yeah. Um, and then this other line only makes Rosé, Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay. Huh. That's so all same, I can say. Same kind of white. Mm -hmm. So um, price point wise, are these guys on the very Cheaper, reasonable end of the They're under spectrum. $20. They're generally. under 20 They're under okay. 20 yeah. They're about your average, you know, right. between 15 and $20. So they're affordable. You'll see them at. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So will you see a huge spike in sales of this in your store in I will. the first I will. six weeks Mm -hmm. And if you asked me this a year ago, I'd been like, oh, well, you know, we're getting ready for rosé season. And, you know, we're, yeah. you know, it, there are more and more people are looking for a healthier a lifestyle. Yeah. But they enjoy their wine. So it makes sense that you're going to have more of these types of products come out. Yeah. Look how popular the seltzer waters have been. Yep. Well, huge. 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 So it makes sense that it's it's transitioning over to the to the wine side. So I think this is going to be, you know, it's just going to keep growing every year. And, and like I said, I'm having conversations with vendors you know, to get ready for the spring and bring in some new options. Right. So, yeah. Well, and I, it, it is marketing. I think people should though be aware that you were giving them the numbers. And I think that's be aware that in any wine, it's a winery. They have to make money. They are a business. It's not just, we love it. It's fun for us, but it's a business for them. Yeah. So they have to do marketing, you know, mm -hmm. and, and what's hey, the best way to market ingenious. it? It is. Well, that's what we do when we create classes around here. We pick the season and we, what, what are people interested in? And the beginning of this year, it's all about getting healthier. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. our focus. Too. I mean, that's, you, you can't turn away from marketing, but you also have to be aware of marketing when you're buying any wine right. and say, am I buying it just because it's a pretty bottle? But we've always said, and we still say, try it. You have to try it. If you don't like it, you don't it, like it. You don't save like yourself it. a lot of I calories, don't you? you. <laughs> if you don't like yeah, it, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Labels do sell wine, though, guys. Yeah. Whew. But this is not bad. I mean, I no. Would, I you would know say what? I could drink this now. Yeah. No wine or this. Yeah, I'm doing um, this. Oh well, I'm yeah, doing this. Okay, yeah, well, absolutely. But I will still say because we get asked all the time, you know, what are the? Does it have sulfates? Every wine has sulfates. Natural it has sulfates. sulfates. It, yeah, you have to. So, but let's talk about something else. I'm going to okay. switch our topic mm -hmm. really fast because, yeah, that fast because we have like a massive snowstorms happening in this country or they did in December, um, which, you know, we film in December, so we'll, we'll note there, but massive snowstorms, you get snowed in, you don't know when the plow is coming. Ugh. How do you prepare you for your snowstorm? You come see me and you buy products. <laughs> but I have a way to measure how, what you buy and how much wine you buy. It's one bottle per inch. <laughs> well, how do you know until it snows? Yeah, so, they're not always right. Okay, so then just be prepared and get the six-bottle discount. Okay. <laughs> okay. Six-bottle discount. I think so. Months. You just be prepared. <laughs> I think so. But I've seen so many creative things in snow. I, I love having um, rosé when it's snowing out because you do, or white, because you can just throw that bottle out in the snow and right. chill it really fast. Right. 
you know, I've seen so many creative, there's a, a picture on, you know, the social media about a big giant snowman and people just shoved their bottles in him and yeah. he was like the wine fridge. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's but cute. you know, that's you cool. gotta be creative yeah. and you gotta be fun yeah. and, and you know, just don't take it seriously. Enjoy it and have a, have a snow party with your wine. Cause, Cause I'm thinking, you know, that's the perfect time to, to make a big old pot of minestrone yeah. or perfect. some sort of bean soup. If you're trying to be healthier, that's a great way to go. A lot of protein, but it's lower calorie, lower fat and full of flavor. Oh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. And make a huge pot, then it just goes on and on and on. on. Yeah. You freeze what you don't use. So. And pop it out. If it does snow, because you know you can get snowstorms that pop up, you'd have this already made. Soup, right? Now you've got soup recipes in your new cookbook. We do. Okay. Do. Is that one in it, or do you have other ones that no. are nice and savory? Uh, that's not in it. Actually, working on a new cookbook. Oh no! I know. Really? This just ready. in. Yeah, I can't tell you about out. it quite yet. I can't tell you about summer. Get ready for summer. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. One part right. two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of them wine-friendly recipes. Oh, well, we appreciate okay. that. <laughs> so, what's coming up in February, ladies? Oh, we got something special. We got something special. We got and it is yes Drum we, yeah, we have a guest coming and she is a chocolatier she makes chocolates for gwen for a lot of our um well your activities that i get to join you yep. in sometimes but she's gonna Didn't come we just get done talking about locale <laughs> that was so last month that's <laughs> january <Sorry. laughs> you gotta build those calories right back you up in six weeks so, so you can see so you can yes be yes. ready for the chocolate <laughs> Well, they're little baby pieces of chocolate. That's right. You know, I mean. But again. I hear she's unbelievable. Totally. I've heard about her. I've not tried any of her chocolates yeah, yet. We are going to try I've heard camera. she's excellent. She's going to talk to us about pairing chocolate and wine, just if you wanted to have something romantic at home. Okay, we'll have, to, we'll have to check it out, though, and make sure her pairings are correct. We'll, yes. we'll have to research. Definitely have to research. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Um, and then we were just going to talk about also part of our gift buying guide. If you are out there wanting to buy your significant other a nice bottle, what should it be? So right. we're going to give some suggestions on okay. gift buying. Some right. different price points. That would be good. And yep. even if you're going out to a restaurant, what mm -hmm. to look for. Mm -hmm. What to look for. Yeah, because how many times they're so booked up. Yep. Yeah, make your yeah. reservations now. Yeah. Gentlemen, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. I find a lot of people do not go out to eat on Valentine's Day, that they actually look for alternative things because they've done that. So I'm sure your classes are probably really booked up at that time because that well, would you be know, different. It, it's funny because the most popular class that we teach all year long is our Couples in the Kitchen Aphrodisiacs class. So it is three courses. Each course features numerous aphrodisiac ingredients. And then we have wine pairings with each course, and it is so much fun. I said I'm not responsible for what happens right? <laughs> after people leave. I need mean, two, two tickets. Okay, it's probably on your calendar now, right? Oh, it is. You can go to the website and sign okay. up, and yeah, get there fast because yeah, it, well, it will sell. It's two nights back yours, to back. So wow. Yeah, we're actually going to be doing a chocolate and wine pairing with Dana mm -hmm. as, oh, nice. as a pre uh, Valentine's Day event. We are doing. I think it's brunch for lovers as well, sort of French crepes and fun stuff Ooh, like that. That sounds great. And there's one other, tons of great stuff coming up for Valentine's yeah. Day. And we will be starting our dinners back in February, I believe. Yes, yes. So we will all be back in my store for our, our wine and uh, food pairing classes. Yeah. Yes. Can mm -hmm. wait. Perfect. All right. all right. So with that, Cheers and cheers. We'll cheers. See you, February. See you next month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, like, Don't forget subscribe, to share. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs>